sort of got restarted I thought you're a bit back can he do it can he do it but you just found your space yeah as, uh, as the track was drying my car was just getting better and better so I was just sort of like winding the laps down thinking as long as I can sort of keep moving forward then I'll, uh, I'll, be, I'll be with the chance of getting near the front well that's for sure you've got the big final coming up is it going to be yours tonight or are you going to get flying interference from Mr Palmer I haven't got a clue you have to wait and see <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait with bated breath Good on you, Chris. Well done for that. 886. Chris Bradbury there is in with the win. Well done to him. Hopkins in 994. Got Clavin going out towards the fence in 158. We all had problems there for the two superstar drivers, 606 and 886. With 606 climbing all over Bradbury and 886 on the entrance to the far side. They've lost a lot of time as Waterhouse has gone. He's a good line driving there, showing the door on the uh, 710 cars. Head down the home straight with 710. And it's halfway next time. Head down the far side. And it's 710, your lead effort, George Tricky and 595 class fence very hard on turns three and fifth one as he heads down the far side as uh, Craig Tomlin puts uh, 219 quite hard in turns three and four. Mark, you're quick. Yeah, we had a good start then, didn't we? Uh, got a bit of trouble with the eye to be fair, but uh, it's good to go back and see that at left one because that's which way we're going. Ah, just risk one eye. Uh, good livery on the car, it's gone through a bit of a change. It's just uh, had a bit of a paint up, but uh, you know, yeah. Try and present them well every time. Well, I spoke to you last year when you were coming back, coming back, and you were getting again. You're now back on form again. Is it going to be your, your, you know, a special year for you? You reckon? Well, you always think it is, don't you? <laughs> I think you always think it, but deep down, you know, yes or no. Well, my cars are going well, and uh, you never know. Well, let's hope so. All right, Mark, great for that. Mark cars head down the home straight in the front lines. And the thunder round already, and Jeff Nichols in trouble in the early stages with Russell Cooper. He gets collected by Mark Hill, making 21, and got all sorts of problems up there. Making much impression on the far side, but it's 335, Mark Waddell, and then 55, Craig Finnegan. This is a world champion. He's chasing Lee Smith in the mode, he's head down the home straight, 335. He Tom Harris and 212, Danny Wayman. Number 10, Lee Smith. Could be next, they could be Mal Brown and Joe Brown and Carl Swift. Lee Smith, three, oh, 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 oh. Well over, wave your arms, Mr. Starter, please, wave your arms, Mr. Starter, please. In there, and uh, Tom Harris getting pushed by there as Carl Swift retires in 2.45. As we enter the closing stages, and here comes Gilbank on the inside with one more lap to go. Success now and again, so while that still keeps happening, uh, we'll keep doing it. Well, I'm glad you do, and we've got a presentation for you. Come on down, just very quickly for Will as we get ready for the, uh, the next race on track. This is to celebrate. 25 years of agony. No, no, racing! Okay, fabulous under the lights and trouble already in the early stages. It's three abreast down the far side and Steve, Steve Harris in one to one. No, eight, it's all going past race control. The leader is... 2-5-2. Oh, look at that on the far side. Nigel Wally has planted in. To the Tony Smith pointing the bumper in there as he uh, and then turns three and four. Flat time for 3 3 it's 252 and 307 and 207, then comes 91 Tony Smith. Nice to see uh, the D train 321 and Michael Scrimmon in number 12. Down the home straight they go. And Tony Smith is over, and uh, Tony Smith and uh, Warwick go out wide there, and Smith's nearly over on his side. And it's Neil Scrimmon who hits the front run. Problems here for looks like uh, Billy Johnson, 169 John Lund is out there in this event, and he's uh, going round to the top half dozen just on the man. As well in 252, he's retired to the safety of the centre green. Now bouncing all over down the home straight. Screw up the bump in on 169. As they go down the home straight into turns one and two on the far side of the track. That looks like it's Scrimmins having a go in the back of your and spins him out. Which can allow a couple of cars into playing. Bit of a messy parking lot in Bellow 169 is also involved. Well then, that looks like it's Scrimmins spinning out 321 on the home straight. Back away, up and down on 515. Thank you, Raymond Junior. Second place, I think, will be Michael Scrabbin in number 12. There could be a natural just. And possibly Neil Scrabbin and John Lund in 53. And I'm going to plus one eight and 55 wide. And turns one and two around the liver and bend. And got one thing off. And he cars is on the inside. One eight and I think still facing. Go Reds, Mr. Starter, please. We'll go Reds. Thank you. Mosley and John.
Josh Smith in 191 as they head down the home straight. A problem there for Josh Smith who's spent time in 191. He's hoping to get back running again and get back on the track. Oh no, maybe not. 91 in 303. And 303 so within a striking distance. James Price not far behind either as he uh, into the closing stages. Oh, and 303's gone wide again, which allows 460. 463 is catching. Now the far side for the final time. 91 and 463. The bumpers are going in. And 91 gets pushed out wide. And 463 is going to take the consolation. Cracker for you then, Barry. You've been fighting all night to get there and you've eventually done it. What kept you so long? Well, the plan was to finish the final because we've done Kings Lynn and Bellevue so last year and never even finished. So the, the main finished thing to tonight was to try and finish the final. But if you end up first across the line, we'll take that. Well, yeah, of course you will. Pleased with the car, everything on, you know, happening okay for it? Yeah, everything's good. The track's a lot different now than what it was in the heat race because it was quite wet earlier on. We were in the first heat, but we've been watching what the racing's been doing and kind of adjusted the car to suit it. And I prefer it but dry like this. And bumpy. Yeah, you just you just the bumps don't change every lap, you just gotta learn where they are. <laughs> That's the skill. Finally it's Barry Golding leading the way in 401 for Matthew Sari 398. And Golding's in trouble on the far side. Trying to get past Chris Hurley in 780 and was trying to pounce. It's your final is able to get stoked for Brett Townsend in 710 and for Chris Bradbury trying to reel it in in 886. Here come the bumpers and Palmer gets the bumper shoved in. Got to see how Mike Brown 823 to Ricky's running a pass him as well. But he's checking flag time in the feature final win for me for Barry Golden in 401. We're looking further down the track. To see what happens with the three star graders. Second will be Townsend, third Bradbury. Fourth flag to fifth to Ricky. Sixth will be Andrew Palmer. Moving around here extremely quickly as 3 2 3 takes the checking flag. Call me for 3 3 3 and number 1. And 55 1 3 7. Just copy 48 from that for 5 depending on transport position. Said Mark earlier on, you're back on form and boy, that underlines it, doesn't it? That's a good start, isn't it? Whoa, brilliant, mate. Yeah, we uh, weren't too sure, to be fair, halfway through where I was. I couldn't focus on starter because I can't see him. So uh, with three to go, I seen, seen him getting lap boards and I thought, I just need to try and get past him, just in case. I weren't too sure if he were winning or not. Oh, well, Billy was putting up a good race there. It was a good race, uh, really come on towards the end. Uh, I couldn't see anybody behind me, but, you know, I don't know, how close were they? Pretty. Well, that were all right then, weren't it? Number one, Lee Fire has got past Wild Wallow Lee 335 in the last couple of hours and waving in 515. Will Yarrow in 22, Mal Brown and Tom Harris. Let up in Danny Wayman, come here, Michael Scruen. Barry Golden in 401 is certainly making progress. But 710 still. 533, John, when he goes back and running again, it's still 710. And Chris Bramber in 886, so it's still 710. And it's five laps to go next time round, Mr. Starter, please. Five laps to go next time round. Yeah, good win. Yeah, it was good. Um, a bit of an off in the final down there, and into some park cars, and Tom coming to the back and tired of me, and did a bit of damage to suspension and stuff. We Willington and got a six, but we're back on it in that one. I'm really chuffed with the car, please. With it. It's quick. Yeah, it was, uh, Lee got away from me, but he was burning his tyres up, and then I just reeled him in. He just. You know, his, his car was off the track more than it was on it, but uh, no, it, it's just tricky and passing that you see, you know, and I don't know how James were all over, but it's just so, you know, Yimmer couldn't go in and they seem to come back out in front here, but uh, no, enjoy it, it's been a good night. It has been a good night, we'll see you Monday.